What is up everybody? It is King Kunta, and yes, uh, you would be correct in assuming that I am bringing you another gold farm, and oh my gosh, I am not sure what happened. I'm in, I'm in between like testing out hardware for my PC right now, and obviously this piece of knowledge is going to work with that FPS drop, but today we're going to be looking at a farm. Uh, it's actually a rare item farm, so we are not farming mats of any kind or any kind of like first aid or anything like that. Today we're going to be farming one singular item. Uh, in the Blasted Lands. Uh, it's not hard to farm and drop chance is actually pretty good and for the amount it sells for it's actually quite worth it. So right now I'm just and before I start any of the video I just want to ask that if you guys do like the video uh, at the end if you could like comment or subscribe and also check out the links in the description below it really helps me out and I thank each and every one of you that does. So we're gonna be farming the orb of deception and as you can see on my server some people are kind of knocking the price down on it but my server it goes for uh, a pretty good price right here and if you look um, the min market is the minimum that you can buy it for and uh, the market value is around the average and the regional market value is actually the average for a bunch of different servers in your region which is around 40,000 so if you're on the uh, NA region uh, you actually have a chance at you know around a 50k item uh, some ser servers is quite more some servers it's less I know on some of the European ones that orb actually can only go for like 15 20k so just make sure you check out your auction house if you have any up uh, make sure you check the price now the special thing about the orb of the deception is it has a special ability basically because it's a toy where it lets you look like a member of the opposite faction uh, for 30 minutes, I believe. So we'll go ahead and show you. Yeah, you can look like a. Oh, sorry, five minutes. You're in. There's 30 minute cooldown, so you're able to look like uh, the enemy faction, which is actually a quite cool cosmetic thing that a lot of people like for transmog, especially. So yeah, it's actually uh, in quite a high demand, but there is kind of a. I want to say a trick. That you have to learn to be able to farm this because it's not uh, the same way as farming any regular item. So the Orbit Deception has a 0.2% chance to drop, so it's actually quite better than a lot of the other rare items in this game. And uh, we, you just have to do one simple thing to actually give yourself the access and ability to farm this item. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut and we're going to be in the Blasted Lands. I'm going to show you everything you need to do uh, in order to farm this. Uh, it's quite simple. shouldn't be that hard. But once I teach you, you'll be able to figure everything out. So I'm going to cut the video and then you'll see me in the Blasted Lands. See ya. Alright everybody, so we're back after that cut. And as you can see, I'm not really at a farm because we are not at the farm yet. Now the first thing you have to do when you get to the Blasted Lands is you have to come on the map to this area right here. You'll actually see a little um, uh, NPC and it'll show on the map. I'll show you. It'll show as a little like uh, question mark kind of thing. Um, all you have to do is come to this NPC, right click on them, and then click okay. show me the blasted lands before the invasion. Now what this does is this actually allows our mob that we're going to be farming to spawn because if you do not um, have that NPC show you uh, the Blasted Lands before the invasion, there's just going to be a bunch of uh, level 90 orcs there that are not going to drop the item. So right now we're just going to fly over to where the actual mobs spawn. Now they're not quite far away, they're just near the Dark Portal. Um, do recommend you are a high, higher level just AoE these down quick because they shouldn't take super long uh, at all. Let's see if I can find these good old folks. Uh, right here we are, the enthralled cultist. So these are the mobs that have the chance to drop the uh, pet. Also there is a boss up there if you want to kill that. Now back in the day this farm used to be super popular just because of server hop this mob was way easy to uh, kill because uh, you know obviously with server hop you can just uh, you know switch servers and just kill the mob over and over again you can't really do that same thing anymore uh, that's actually why the price of this item has uh, risen so much in the past couple uh, months is after they kind of killed server hop if you're not in a group it kind of changed into this and yes I know I don't have automatic looting on so there's always that one person that's gonna yell at me 
but you really just only want to kill the enthralled cultists because these are the ones that drop the item. The boss, uh, maybe if you're just looking for a little fun, yeah, go ahead, I guess. I mean, I always kill it, so why not? Um, now, these are the only mobs that drop the item, so you have to make sure that you are not killing any mobs uh, anywhere else. And this also kind of gives me, or comes to my other point. Uh, these do take a little bit to respawn. So I posted a video yesterday about another farm in the Blasted Lands that is quite closer and quite easier to get items to drop off of. So I kind of recommend you do that if you do not want to wait on a respawn timer. But because the respawn timer is back in place, that is why the value of this item is going up so much. And as you can see, uh, they do take a little bit to respawn it kind of can be annoying but it is quite worth it because if you do have that uh, item drop you're basically guaranteeing yourself 50,000 gold 50 60,000 gold and uh, when I've actually seen I mean I've heard stories of people getting like five or six of these uh, just in a couple hours so this farm could be way worth it especially if the RNG God has uh, blessed you in any way and I definitely recommend you come do this area now um, if you don't want to wait for it, you can always check my older video, and if you actually get bored waiting for these, you can kill these mobs around here be too, because they do actually drop some transmog. Um, they don't drop nearly around the same, uh, stuff that you want, basically, but you can get some very, uh, cool items. As you can see, this one actually has Tuyibu's, uh, Blazing Longsword on its back right there, and, uh, you can get some quite cool items. Uh, that come off, especially once you revert this back to uh, before the invasion. And uh, that's really all I have on this farm. Now, my other video covers the farm that's near Netherguard Keep, but of course all the mobs switch. So normally while I'm just waiting for these people to respawn, as you can see, it can kind of quite be annoying as the boss even shows up before the other mobs do, is uh, we can run back and we can farm those, or we can just farm the mobs in the area, which is normally what I'll do because uh, these mobs actually have a chance to drop some decent gear. We'll look, because if you do remember, this is before, uh, or this is uh, some content that was very, very old. So a lot of these drop some sweet items. So let's see if we can, probably not gonna get anything crazy here. And basically this is all you have to do while you're waiting. Um, besides the fact that there is nothing much for you to do so of course I'm gonna say it again like I say in every one of my videos I always pop bear tartar before I start these farms um, I obviously don't have it on right now but I recommend you go ahead and get it and if you need to see what it looks like it's just like that and I kinda of bring that up in every video because it is definitely something that you need to get if you're gonna get into farming yeah we're still waiting yeah so this this farm can take quite a bit but it is definitely worth it since you can get some amazing items. If you're a droid, that makes everything much easier. Farm is going to be much faster. And uh, that's really all I have today uh, for the farm itself. Now, if you did find this video interesting, I like that you just look down below. Maybe click the subscribe button or maybe even the sponsor button if you're on YouTube Gaming. If you want to do that, I know I have those enabled. And you get uh, the sponsor button and you can get all those perks. Uh, which is quite cool, and yeah, that's really all I have to say. Now, uh, the next minute I'm gonna minute or so I'm gonna be talking is uh, just for my actual subscribers. If you don't want to see that, then you can just leave the video now. But basically, uh, I just want to talk about the upload schedule. Uh, I did take a couple days off. I know. I'm sorry. It was a sin. Kind of needed it just as a bit of a break from YouTube. But I am back, and I hope to keep continue. Uh, continuing to bring you tons of great content. Um, I, ah, man, it has been it's been pretty stressful getting these videos out. But I think uh, all the support that I do get from you guys, it really does help me out, and uh, it kind of it makes this worthwhile for me. And yeah, so I'm just saying, any support you guys do give me is appreciated. And your ideas are, are always welcome on this channel. If you post an idea in the comment section below and I happen to make a video on it, I will give you full credit to the location um, no matter what. You, you will get credit for it and all that good stuff. Also, if you do hit the sponsor button on YouTube Gaming, I will actually put you in the end of the video. Your name, obviously, I don't have any sponsors yet, so I can't do that. But that's just in case you actually plan to do that. 
Um, that's all I really have to say now. Uh, so, yeah, if you did like the video, you guys know what to do. And I will see all my beautiful subscribers and new people in the next video. Goodbye.